Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Apollo Art Analysis. This episode, we're going to be taking a look at a piece generated by OpenAI's Dolly 2. In this episode, we're going to be talking a little bit about urban decay. We're going to talk about the liminal dream core aesthetic. And we're also going to talk about the profound power of OpenAI's Dolly 2. So let's jump right into it. So whenever you first see this piece, you know, you're met with a pretty simple scene here. We see what appears to be a few empty shop stalls in the midst of a greater kind of uh, abandoned mall here. And the scene is very still. You know, we don't see too many people going through it there's not a lot going on and of course it does feel very empty here as well and colors within this work kind of consist of a very drained color palette of course we have kind of a grayish blue around here we have a bit of gold a bit of yellow mainly kind of that yellowish gold and you have that white as well but you know all in all of course that does mix with that black also got to mention that all of those create a really drained color palette you know not really exciting visual experience definitely a lot darker a bit more dismal a lot drained color palette so with that in mind you know it isn't a very vibrant very exciting visual experience it is kind of a more depressing a little bit of a darker one as well with that drained color palette and so like i said we see what appears to be you know kind of an abandoned mall here and we we do feel quite alone here like i said we don't see any people we don't see any advertisements any signs or even say any large lights it feels very empty it feels very surreal even unsettling in a lot of ways as well and so this is very important because we're looking at something called urban decay and this is kind of kind of the death of malls is one part of the massive kind of thing that we would call urban decay and this does include big cities of course urban but it also includes kind of this urban sprawl environment that's kind of deteriorating before our eyes as well and so with the death of malls we really saw that in a few different waves for the first one, kind of the knockout, I would say not the knockout punch, but one of the biggest punches is definitely going to be the consolidation of, say, internet shipping. We don't go to malls anywhere near as often, and I would say the real knockout punch was a pandemic. Since the lockdowns, the COVID lockdowns, we've seen kind of a purge of small businesses. So there's so many businesses that really could not survive there to kind of have that physical location. So we've seen kind of a death and decay of a lot of malls, and it's been quite sad to see that. You know, with the death and decay in malls, we have to also realize that this is the death of a lot of nostalgic places for a lot of people. So, you know, whenever a mall kind of goes away and they have to replace it with something else, that's a lot of memories that people have. And it kind of has to go within that. You know, they're only left to memory and memoriam, especially whenever you can't go back into these places. So with that in mind, we definitely do see kind of the death of malls within this work. It feels very empty. It feels very lonesome. Maybe they are, you know, shutting this down in some way or another. But we definitely do do some influences from there as well and another one i wanted to mention is the idea of the liminal space so a liminal space you know by definition you can see of it as a place of transition so we definitely see that here maybe around the shop stalls this area here in the foreground that does feel like a space of transition we refer to that as a liminal space but much more broadly liminal spaces have been kind of used to refer to many different things whether it's abandoned buildings of course places of transition as they're traditionally defined but also what we would fit into kind of a broader aesthetic and i think that this does have a a lot a lot a lot of things to do with kind of memories as well as the pandemic purge you know, we've seen a lot of things from urban decay to the death of malls everything in between and i think liminal spaces are a way to grapple with that kind of reality of these kind of decaying physical spaces we do kind of use the virtual worlds a lot more often nowadays but that doesn't, you know, that doesn't minimize or kind of take away from the fact that we are losing a lot of our shopping malls. And those are a lot of cultural hubs. You know, we'd love to go to the shopping malls, meet up with people, maybe meet a new person, kind of interact with the community, you know, be able to buy from different peoples at these shops. But with the death of malls, you know, there is the death of that. And that is quite sad to see. But all in all, it is a very kind of drained color palette. It does give that sense of kind of that decaying place of memory. We do definitely see the death of malls within this as well. And so the prompt that created this, I believe, is it was an abandoned 90s mall liminal space dream core as well. So all of those kind of create the visual experience that we're seeing before us here. And with the rise of these AI generative art programs, we're really kind of only now kind of grappling with what AI art can truly do. We're seeing a whole new era fueled by this really kind of machine assisted creative expression. It's just been a blessing to see. Of course, this piece was created by OpenAI's Dolly 2. So we see Dolly's 2 interpretation 
notion of a liminal space or what we would refer to kind of the dream core or liminal aesthetic. I thought that was incredibly interesting. I actually have a handful of these that I'm really thinking about going deep on. But I think this does kind of represent a decaying place of memory as, you know, our malls close down or as urban decay kind of sets in. And I think that's incredibly important to look at, especially, you know, it is an unnerving, it is an unnatural, definitely not popular scene by many people. I don't think this piece will get very many likes across our pages, but you know, regardless of that, I think it is a very important piece to show, especially how an AI interprets these kind of liminal spaces of the stream core aesthetic and those places of memory for sure. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. We talked a little bit about urban decay. We talked about the death of malls, talked about the liminal spaces and dream core aesthetic, and of course open eyes Dolly 2 interpretation of this liminal dream core. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you guys learned something. My name is Apollo. This was Apollo Art Analysis, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you'd like to support our work directly, please check out our Apollo community tokens. Apollo Art Exchange is an ecosystem of art appreciation which elevates artists each and every day. Thanks for listening.